an incredibly important day in this country, recognizing the day that slavery was abolished through the British Empire and abolished in this country. Some of us didn't even know it existed, but it did. So, my man over there, Bam528, curated this day and brought up his friends, Sekou, and African drummers and dancers. And now, they're going to teach you how to dance. So, it is time for African dance lessons. Please be inspired by the rhythms of West Africa as you learn traditional dance techniques. Laugh and move to the rhythm of the drums while you experience the vibrant traditional dances of West Africa, led by Sekou Sahu. Owner of African Drums and Art Crafts in Toronto and Kensington Market, just in case you want to get one of those. Just saying. Find your inner beat as you dance to the healing power of the drum, the beat, and the rhythm of the motherland. Let's get moving. Now, this is audience participation time. This is not sitting time. This is time to shake what your mother gave you, okay? I know my mother gave me something. It's time to shake what your mama gave you. So please, come on up. Enjoy, join in, have some fun, be emancipated, be free, come and enjoy the day. I am Queen M and you are about to experience something incredible. Enjoy. Check one, two, check one, two, three, four. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Have people out there? Are, are there people out there? Y'all see people out there? Good evening, everyone. All right. There are people out there. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Dere. I will be sharing. All right. I will be sharing a little West African dance with you guys from the Malinke region of West Africa. So anyone who's feeling willing, who's feeling open, who's feeling courageous, who's feeling adventurous and wants to step up and groove and move and have a little fun time with us, now is the time. I encourage and invite you to do so. We have Jay here on my right, your left, who will be helping to keep everyone organized in the center we have Jamez, and on the left, we have Monique, who will also be helping to keep everyone on board. I am up here so everyone can see me. I would like to be down there with you guys, but it's help, more helpful for me to be up here. So, um, you guys know my wonderful drummers already, but once again, on the right, we have Seiko. My name is Dere. I hope you guys have a fun time with me today. Let's have a party. Que pasa? Your left. 
Slide to the right, slide, 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 uh -huh. slide, very nice, slide, very good, slide, yes, slide, very little faster, right and left, and right and left, and right and left, I check, right and left, and right and left, and right and left, and right and left, and right, going front, now front. to the right and four to the back and three to the back and two to the back and one other way here we go and left your left not mine and two and three very nice and four point to the shoulder shoulders up shoulders down Reversing it forward, here we go, and up, roll it forward, 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 listen to the music, up, roll forward, up, roll forward, and shake it out, alright, if I didn't say so before, I will say it now, um, for dance, gym rules apply, for those who remember, give yourself a nice space so you can stretch your arms out to the side, or I don't want anyone to not like each other after this dance class, right? So if you can kick your foot to a side, you're good, nice, excellent. Now we're going to get into some arm movement, open up the shoulder, here we go, arms up, and bend at the bottom, up, very good, and bend at the bottom, up, very good, and the music 
we want to make sure, so we don't want to make it robotic. The way I was saying out and in, we want it to be more smooth, right? So we want straight movement. Out and in, out and in, uh-huh, out and in, very nice. All right, y'all look like pros already. So we're gonna wait. Remember we are hearing the break when we were playing the drum? The break when we dance is what tells us when we start, when we stop, and when we change. So for everything we're gonna do today, the break is gonna help us to direct ourselves as we go along, right? Listening for the break? Then we start. One more time. So we step right. Then we step left, right? Here we go. And here we go. And out and in. Left and in. Uh huh. Right and in. Yes. Left and in. Yes. Right and in. Yes. Left and in. Right and in. Left. One more time. Right. One more time. Left. And we stop. I'm going to turn around. So we're going to go back to. Three, four, back, two, 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 three, four. Back, two, three, four. So we're going to go a little faster. dancers out here in Blue Mountain. Here we go, and back. Knees up, knees up, knees up, back. Knees up, knees up, knees up, back. Knees up, knees up, knees up, back. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Now we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna step across. Knees up, knees up, knees up, across. Knees up, knees up, knees up, across. Knees up, knees up, knees up, across, knees up. Beautiful. So we're going to start with four. One. we're going to learn today. Is everyone feeling their blood flowing? I don't want you guys to sweat too much because y'all are looking nice and whatnot, right? And so, um, the dance we're going to learn today is called Kaki Lambe. Everyone say Kaki Lambe. Kaki Lambe. Beautiful. Kaki Lambe is a mask that is brought out every five years that represents a spirit to a specific village of people in West Africa called the Baga people. And every five years, they bring out the Kaki Lambe for two different reasons. One, they may bring out Kaki Lambe to give almost like fortune telling or news about what's gonna happen in the village for the next five years. Or they bring out the Kaki Lambe to heal people who are very, very sick, right? Extreme circumstances, right? Um, so that's the purpose or the reason why we play this rhythm in that region. 
But the dancing portion is important because there are trained dancers who are taught specific steps who support and help the person who wears the khaki lambe costume that is doing either the healing or the divination work. Does that make sense? Excellent. So that's what we're going to be learning today is the dance steps of the people who support the mask, which is the khaki lambe. Awesome? All right. So the first thing we have to know that's most important is the break because each rhythm has its own break, right? So the break for khaki lambe is as follows. It's the exact same break as what we were learning in Tiriba earlier on, right? So what we're gonna do, Joseph is gonna play the break and I want everyone to clap at the end of the break. So I'm gonna demonstrate so we all understand what I just said and then we'll try it together. The break, see who play? <laughs> Mr. Joseph. Uh huh. Change his tempo. So, what was important about that exercise is the break also helps us to know the tempo to which we're going to dance. So when we're dancing, what we always do, the first rule, is wait for break number two, or the second break, right? Because the first one introduces the music, so we know what timing we're dancing to, and then the second break um, invites us or signals us to start. Make sense? Excellent. So, the first step. We're going to step right, right, left, left. Right, in, right, in, left, in, left, in. Now, when we step in, we want to step onto our toe. So flat foot, not like on your toe, but like the, the metatarsal or the ball of your foot, right? Flat, ball. Flat, together. So two each, right? Flat, ball, flat, together. We go left, ball, flat, together. We go right, ball, flat, together. We go left, ball, flat. Beautiful. Now, we're going to do three variations of arms the entire time your legs do not change. So we want to make sure that we're keeping right, two, three, together, left, two, three, together. Excellent. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to pretend like we're holding a bowl. Very good. Now, because we're holding a bowl, and there are contents in this bowl, we have to make sure that we don't flip the bowl over. So when we're moving our hands, we want to make sure that the palms always remain facing up. Right? Very good. So we're going to go one, two, sorry, I messed up. You're supposed to step in with the left leg. Let me correct that. So we go right, 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 in. That's my bad. Left left, left, in, right, 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 step in, left, left, ball, right, left, sorry, step in, right, right, I'm not used to doing this this slow, I have my apologies, so once again with the hands, we go, one, two, three, together, one, two, three, together, one, two, three, together, one, two, three, together. So when we're doing this movement, we want to make sure that we keep the knees bent. And now that we're turning from side to side, bring your foot a little bit back so that you have space to do this. 
uh-huh, together. Front, back, front, together. So let's try with the music, slow tempo, then we'll try it a little bit faster. <laughs> 